It was 2002, May of 2002. I happened to be in Baroda uh, a month later to the infamous riots that happened in the city of Baroda. Keeping the politics aside, but what really troubled me is that, that we're capable of such hate and violence. And what causes such hate? What makes us be the kind of people that we never want to be, but we still continue to be? The problem is that we're not bad people. Hate and violence is just a consequence. Fear is the problem. We found little boys uh, who don't go to school. So we asked them what is it that they are not interested that makes them not go to schools. Typical stories, I don't like what is being taught. Teachers are not interesting, they beat us, it's boring, or no reason. If we can make learning fun, interesting, creative, children are willing to learn. And arts, both visual and performing arts, have a very, very interesting, engaging methods to teach subject learning. And that's one of our crucial uh, insight that really made us uh, realize and also to decide that we're going to stick with using arts as the methodology, the intervention that, we, that we're going to do in schools. Initially, we started out with Microsoft projects because I, that's what something that I was using earlier. It was too big for us because we do not have that level of complexity that the software provides. So we then we went to another company, which was Basecamp. Um, we did play around with it. It was too simple for us. That's when somebody actually, one of our directors, uh, board members, Jayant, he suggested Zoho. And uh, then we explored it. And uh, now we're close to around two years, maybe a little over two and two and a half years. And it helps us align the project expectations of the donor to the execution by the team. Here we are at Alcott Memorial School, Besanagar. We've surveyed these students for the past one year and we've also seen a lot of improvement in certain parameters like vocabulary, cognition and creativity. <clears throat> I'm most often they're not in the office and I don't go out in the field unlike the project staff. So when I need some information like say photographs or documents or some proof of the work that the project uh, staff has done, it is easy for me to go into the Zoho website and get it from that. So you understand sometimes the importance of Zoho like now during the year end when we are preparing the annual report and the final report for our donors. So when we go back and look into under each donor or under each project, there is a whole list of things that they have done. They immediately upload it on Zoho as soon as they come back from the field. So even if I have missed out something in my writing or my reporting, uh, when I go back to Zoho and look, it's all there um, and the data doesn't lie. So uh, when you're overwhelmed with what you're doing, it's quick to go back and see that there is a reference. So it's very useful like that. Curriculum development is actually a bigger process which involves coordinating with people from different locations doing different tasks here. Uh, we work with an educational consultant from the USA and uh, there are translators who translate the content from English to Hindi and Tamil in uh, Mumbai and Chennai. And uh, there is a curriculum design team that is working in Chennai. And uh, also the curriculum print uh, team which works from uh, Chennai. So I coordinate with all these people and I use Zoho projects to keep track of the activities, milestones and the schedules for doing all these things. Zoho really makes our people very efficient, productive, makes our impact much, much more visible, uh, stronger, which makes us carry forward our work with a lot of difference. Uh, and that's very, very important for us. And thank you so much.